Morning. Welcome to another fine episode of this old trailer trash. Dan Vila here. Let me have a sip of my coffee. Mm. Mm. Only a good morning with a sip of my coffee. So, this is the next uh, series of this old trailer trash. I'm going to be taking a typical minivan and converting it into a stealth camper unit. So it'll have a full-on sleeping area and a kitchen in it. Uh, purchased the van yesterday. Here it is. It's a um, Chrysler Town & Country 2005. What else works? Uh, what else works really well are the Dodge Caravans. But you got to have 2005 and newer because it has one of the main features that you want, and that is the stow and go seats. Uh, the seats actually go into the floor. You don't have to remove and put them in. Very convenient. Um, you could make a, a mobile camping unit, and then it could be a soccer mom um, van during the week. For me, it's going to be kind of half and half. I'm going to uh, add some interesting features here. So the one feature I have to have when I'm camping is a good kitchen. So I have got enough room here. This will hold an exact piece of plywood. It's uh, it's eight feet long by actually 49 inches wide. And so what I'm gonna do, and here's the stow and go back seats, as you can see, and they just go like that. I'm gonna remove both back seats completely. It's gonna give me that well in there, which is gonna be fantastic for storing canned goods, dry goods, because this is where the kitchen's gonna be. I'm gonna build a kitchen right in this area here that's gonna be very comparable to the kitchens I built in both of my teardrop trailers I built. And so you open up the hatch, you put down a flap, you got your kitchen, your single burner stove, your water, uh, spices, coffee, all the French press, whatever you want. And then on the other side is where the sleeping area is going to be. It's going to be approximately six feet, two inches, which is plenty. And it's wide enough for two people to sleep in there. Because if you recall, my first teardrop that I built was 46 and a half inches wide. We've got 49 inches at where about your legs are going to be and a much more room of where the torsos are going to be. This is going to be a comfortable sleeping unit. Um, again, stow and go, whether you're not familiar with these, there's the seat right there. And what I'll probably do is leave this seat, but remove the other seat because yet again, that's another great spot to put storage. So there it is, stow and go. So, um, there you go. What else can I tell you? It's very comfortable ride. I drove it yesterday. Uh, it's got, look at this, it's got a DVD or a CD and a tape deck. Who listens to tapes? But keep in mind, you're cruising around the country, you go into a thrift store, you'll find Rolling Stone tapes for 50 cents because no one looks at tapes anymore. So, there you go. Um, what, what else do we got? The doors. A real bonus on the 2005 model, this town and country. The doors are not automatic. I had a van, both automatic doors broke. What a pain in the ass that is. Look at this, you can take this door and with, look at that. I mean, that's the way to go. Same with the hatch, it's not automatic. So you don't have to worry about that automatic un unit breaking on you and costing you $800, $1,000 a door. Uh, that is the one problem with these minivans. If the window switches break, it's 800 bucks to repair them. It's really a drag, but you know, you can't have everything. So I really like the uh, blackout here, except on the front windows, it's very hard to see to the side. So I may have to do something about that. But other than that, you there's a company, you can order interior blackouts. You tell them what type of vehicle you have. They send them and they fit in all the windows. So no one knows you're in there when you're sleeping on a trip. It's really perfect. It's just a soccer mom's van. And the people we bought it from, nice people, um, be Charlie and Eric, their dad passed away. This was his van. He appeared to have kept it well uh, up. I really appreciate it. And here it is. His name was Chuck. So in an honor of Chuck for this series and forever for this vehicle, this vehicle 
will always be known as the Chuck Wagon. So I guess I have to do kind of a Western theme on it, I think. Uh, another thing I noticed, see the lights are on? Those bulbs are gonna have to be removed. Can't have those on. And um, there you go, Indiana baby. So this has been Dan Vila. We're working on the new minivan, Stealth Camper. Another fine episode of this old trailer trash.